Hand clapping is the heart and soul of the black church and gospel music. In this episode of Explained, we're going to break down how we use hand clapping to create and beautify the musical experience. See, that's how you tell you in the country right there. Look. Extemporization is doing something within a framework without prior preparation. You may also know this as improvisation. And temporization or improvisation is deeply connected to one's feelings within that moment in the music. Watching the ladies clap in the back, you can tell by their body language that they are feeling it and is reflected in how they clap. This is the rhythmic pattern that they establish at the beginning of the two. Oh, we have a time when we get on yonder. Oh, we have a time when we get on yonder. Oh, we have a time when we get on yonder. What a day of rejoicing. They are clapping in a 2 4 time signature, meaning two beats per measure. When she feels it, she extemporizes or improvises another pattern over the main rhythmic pattern. What a day of What she just did is called syncopation. Syncopation is the disturbance or interruption of the regular flow of a rhythm. Looking at the hand claps drawn out, everyone is clapping two beats a measure. But here you will see she disturbs the rhythm or the pattern by adding extra beats or hand claps to fill in the empty spaces. What a day of a more complex version of this would be In this example, they use diminution to get this sound or basically they're cutting the rhythm's length in half. So they start the hand clapping on an eighth note. And they cut it in half to clap on 16th notes. Something else worth mentioning when talking about syncopation is it's also referred to as being off beat because the musician or the artist is stressing the notes that fall in between the beats. We saw that in the first clapping example, but you can see how these two women here are alternating between odd and offbeat clapping during this sequence. What's most impressive about hand clapping in the black church is that we create these complex rhythms without even knowing we're doing it. It's based purely on what we feel inside. This sense of rhythm is something that is innate to us and our experiences collectively as a culture. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Until next time.